is Danny and welcome to this update video. I really hope you're doing fantastic this morning. Now we're taking a look at the infrared satellite imagery of the North Atlantic and there is that frontal system which is making its way out of the U.S. Still some activity moving through some of these southern states and uh, there is another dissipating frontal system and an airflow pressure associated with it, a trough and we can see all of that activity out there not affecting anyone at the moment. But then as we look toward the Caribbean, it remains pretty much dry for the most part. As we're going to be heading through today, this is the rainfall forecast. And as the map becomes more colorful, that is a sign of more rainfall uh, for that particular shaded area. So as we look to most of the Caribbean islands, mostly seeing these spots of green, some of those lighter and darker shades of greens, maybe a few spots of those yellow shadings as well. So overall, as we head throughout today, it is likely that the rainfall amount is going to be probably around a quarter of an inch at the maximum. So that would include parts of the Lesser Antilles, the various islands, even toward the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, parts of Cuba, Jamaica, and over into Central America as well. A few showers possible for the Bahamas and down to the ABC Islands, also for the Guyanas. But then as we head to parts of uh, southern Venezuela as well as parts of Colombia, we see that it gets a lot more colorful. So there could be some instances of heavy downpours within the area. Now, today is going to be another windy day for many areas. So as we head into later this morning, there we're seeing those darker blue shades. And so winds up to around 20, 25 knots, even 30 knots or a bit stronger just offshore Colombia. But for many areas, the ABC Islands, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, even parts of Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, Bahamas, and Turks and Caicos Islands, and towards Central America, likely to be very windy, also including the offshore islands of San Andres and Providencia. As we head into this evening, there we can see that it remains pretty windy and gets even windier in parts of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands and uh, even offshore areas such as Hispaniola as well. So it's going to be another windy day across the Caribbean region, as I said. Now, finally, we're going on to the Saharan air layer forecast. So this is the forecast for this morning. We're seeing some of those brown shadings. So a bit of that dust still lingering in parts of the South Caribbean and also across parts of Northern South America, Colombia, Venezuela, the Guyanas. It may be quite hazy. However, as we're going to be heading to the weekend, this is expected to clear up across the region, not seeing much dust really loitering around the Caribbean. However, we see that next plume headed towards the west and we're going to be encountering the Saharan air layer a lot more as we head into the next couple of months. But of course, guys, I'm here to keep you posted on all that is happening. And as I mentioned in yesterday's update, uh, when I showed you the Climate Prediction Center's outlook for early March, there could be above average rainfall in parts of the eastern Caribbean. Now, it doesn't mean that there will be a lot of heavy rain, but uh, remember, we're in the dry season and usually there isn't a whole lot of rain. So it simply means that it could be a little bit wetter, more passing showers or so as we head into the new month. I hope you found this video to be very informative, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can, and remember to always be with the wise.